Hello, welcome. Today we're going to be creating a resin geode using real crystals and this resin shaped panel. As you can see, I have already attached the crystals to the middle of the panel and on top, and I just used some Gorilla Glue hot glue for this. The Gorilla Glue seems to work the best, uh, and then the resin is kind of a final glue in so that the pieces uh, of crystal stay attached to the board. The panel I'm using here is no longer made by the company that made them, but you can find some geode-shaped panels on my Amazon list. I also have already mixed my resin and I've let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes to let it thicken up a bit. If you use the resin when it is freshly mixed, it's a little thin um, for the geode rings. So letting the resin sit for a little bit helps it harden up just enough so that it's a little thicker, but this really depends on the resin that you're using. So I've individually mixed up different colors for this geode into small cups, and I am now just pouring the resin around the crystals, and there's some glitter in this resin, um, and this layer kind of reinforces the crystals onto the geode panel and starts the rings of the geode. And you'll notice I am pouring a little bit onto the actual crystals. I am using a clear resin here with just some glitter in it so that it won't cover the crystals. Now I'm going in with a purple color for my next ring and I am pouring this color along the edges of where the first color went and it's up to you how thick you pour this layer. It's really dependent on the look of the geo that you're looking to create and um, how much resin you're working with. And now I'm going in with a third color and pouring it along the edge of the last color I poured and creating again that kind of geode ring effect. And you'll see kind of how the resin is pouring kind of squiggly here. And that's because this resin probably could have sat a little bit longer so that it could have thickened up a bit more. Um, I watch some resin geode artists and their pores are just impeccable and you'll see I haven't quite gotten the hang of the perfect pour yet but this doesn't really matter because we're going to um, fix these layers once we have them all poured. And I'm just going to keep going in with different layers of different colors and creating the rings that you see kind of like in an agate slice. Now I do wish that I had waited for the resin to thicken up a little bit more and I probably would have gotten a little more definition in the rings because what you'll see is once I go in and use the torch, um, the rings kind of start to blend together a little bit. So it is helpful to really let that resin uh, cure just a little bit. Not so much that it is hard, but enough that it's thick and pouring in a more controllable way and not blending so easily with the other layers, which you don't really see right now. Right now it's looking pretty awesome. I'm just going to keep going until I fill up the whole panel with resin and it's important to make sure that before you start, and I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video, you measure out how much resin you're going to need for the surface area of your panel. So you can go to a lot of different resin websites um, and find a resin calculator. You can just Google resin calculator and put in the surface area of your panel and it should give you the amount of resin you need. Um, if you're using a specific brand of resin, try their website first because their calculator will be made for that specific resin because all resins are just a little bit different. 
And it's funny because what you don't see here is that I actually did not measure properly for this geode and I am trying to squeeze out as much of this resin as I possibly can to have it fit on uh, the panel. So you'll notice I am pouring as much out of each little cup as I can and creating as much interest in the piece with the different colors that I have because I am running out of resin. So I'm scraping the bottom of my cups. I'm drizzling on as much as I can from the leftover resin in the bottoms of my cups. But I can very easily just take my little um, scrapey thing here, whatever this is, and just spread some of that resin out because luckily I had just enough to get to almost the very edge. Um, but that will happen if you don't measure your resin. You'll think, oh, I definitely have enough. And sure enough, you're probably not going to have enough or you're going to have way too much and then you're left with um, resin to uh, work with, which is why I always have like little extra molds next to me in case I have resin over pour so that I can um, pour some of that extra resin in there. But now you see, this is our finished geode. This I did not capture me actually using the torch. So once you finish pouring all your layers, you want to let it sit for about 15 or 20 minutes and then torch all your bubbles out. And you're left with a beautiful sparkling geode. Don't forget to go in and paint your edges and you're done.